Something we can do to better secure our Cisco Catalyst switch environment is to shut down any ports on that switch that are not being used. That way somebody's not able to access a wiring closet or go into a cubicle and access an RJ45 connector on the wall and get into your network and maybe start intercepting traffic. In fact, let's take a moment right now and see just how easy that is to do. How easy it is to launch a man-in-the-middle attack. You see, under normal operation, this laptop going out to the internet, it's configured with a default gateway of 10.1.1.1. That's the router that we see on screen. And initially, that laptop had to discover the MAC address of that router's interface. And we're going to pretend that's the all A's MAC address. That way the laptop could properly form a frame with both a layer 2 MAC address and a layer 3 IP address. And when the laptop wanted to go out to the internet, no problem. It just sent the packet to the next top IP address at the MAC address that it had learned via ARP, the address resolution protocol, and we were all good to go. However, what if we had a port that was not shut down and a malicious user got access to that port? They could launch what is referred to as a man-in-the-middle attack. They connect their device, and if they know the IP address of the victim, the laptop on the left-hand side of the screen in our example, what they could do, they could send an ARP reply back to that computer saying, the MAC address corresponding to your default gateway's IP address is really me. Here's what I mean. The man in the middle, their laptop, we're going to say has a MAC address of all Bs. And even though the laptop on the left did not send out an ARP just now to say, hey, can somebody tell me the MAC address of my default gateway? That man in the middle is going to send an ARP reply. It was unsolicited. It wasn't asked for. This packet is called a gratuitous ARP packet, and it might just convince that laptop that the MAC address corresponding to its configured default gateway of 10.1.1.1 is actually the all B's MAC address. Meaning, when that laptop tries to send traffic out to the internet, it's going to send at layer 2 to the all B's MAC address. The man in the middle gets that frame. They can capture that frame and then they send it on to its destination. The man in the middle is not trying to interrupt communication, they're trying to intercept and capture communication. So now, even though things appear to be working from the perspective of our user, the man in the middle is actually capturing that traffic. And this is a very easy attack to launch. I'm not encouraging you to do this, I just want to show you how easy it is for a malicious user to do something like this. Let's take a look at a couple of utilities that we could freely download from the internet to pull off this attack. Right now on screen we're looking at a freely available network analysis utility called Wireshark. And this is used for very legitimate purposes. I do not want to position this as some sort of a hacking tool. This is a fantastic tool for network administrators to do troubleshooting. However, it could be used for nefarious purposes as part of a man-in-the-middle attack. Right now, I'm capturing packets that have a source or destination IP address of 192.168.1.227, which is the IP address of an iPad that I have. And the only traffic that we should be seeing right now would be traffic coming to this PC. The PC I'm on right now has an IP address of 192.168.1.221. And I should also see broadcast or multicast traffic. Traffic. Right now we just captured a packet. It begins with 224 in the first octet. That tells me this is a multicast packet. And what I'm going to do on the iPad right now, I'm going to go to a website. I'm actually going to go to Cisco.com and I just loaded up the Cisco.com webpage. Notice we didn't capture any packets whatsoever in Wireshark. If I'm trying to snoop in on this device on my network, I'm not being very successful. And that's because our switch is doing its job. An Ethernet switch should only send out packets to my PC that are destined for my PC or their multicast or broadcast or unknown unicast packets. But if I'm an attacker and I want to capture traffic coming from 192.168.1.227, how can I do that? Well, I can launch a man-in-the-middle attack. To launch a man-in-the-middle attack, we can use a utility called Kane Enable. It is freely downloadable from the internet. I'm not encouraging you to download it. My security software was not happy with me when I installed it. I just want to show you how easy this is. What I've done, I've gone to the Sniffer tab, and you can right-click and say Scan MAC Addresses, and it finds the devices on your network. And notice that it has found the IP address of my intended victim. 192.168.1.227. So what I'm going to do is go to the ARP poisoning tab. I already had one created earlier. I'm going to remove that from the list. And let's add one. I'm going to say traffic coming from 
192.168.1.227, that's my intended victim, and traffic that's destined for my default gateway, I want to intercept that. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to start poisoning. To do that, I click the little radiate icon, and once I do that, I'm going to reload my web page again. I'm going to go to Cisco again, and let's see if we're capturing any packets this time. And we certainly are. Look at this. We have lots and lots of traffic now showing up in our packet capture. Traffic that we were not able to get to before because it wasn't being sent to my PC. But what I've now done, I've convinced, I'm going to stop the capture. What I've done is I've convinced my iPad that my PC's MAC address is the MAC address of the iPad's default gateway. So its traffic is being sent to me at layer two. I'm turning around and sending it to the actual default gateway so the traffic is actually going out to the internet. It did successfully load up the Cisco.com webpage. So things are working from the user's perspective, but unbeknownst to the user, behind the scenes, a man in the middle has been capturing their traffic. And if they were sending unencrypted passwords over the network, we could drill in using Wireshark and start Start looking at the content of some of those telnet packets perhaps. You can actually see the characters that are typed in as part of the password. So how do we prevent this? Well the recommendation we gave you was to shut down any unused ports. And as a best practice what we might want to get in the habit of doing when we unbox our Cisco Catalyst switch is initially shut down all the ports and as you need the ports you can just do a no shutdown to administratively bring them back up. For example if I do a show IP interface brief on this switch, let's pretend this is a fresh switch out of the box and I've got 24 fast Ethernet ports. If I want to shut down all of those ports, maybe I don't need to worry about the gig ports because I'm using those for interconnections to other switches, but let's say I want to shut down all of my fast Ethernet ports, what I can do is go into interface range configuration mode. So I don't have to go into each interface individually and individually shut them down. I can say interface range fast ethernet and I give the first port in the range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 and I give a space and a hyphen and another space and I give the last port number of the range which in my case is 24. Commands that I give now will now apply to all 24 of those ports and what I want to do is I want to shut down all of those ports so I can do a shutdown. Now if I go back and do a show IP interface brief it's going to show me the state of my ports you see it's still in the process of shutting those down. Let me reissue that command so it's a little bit cleaner on screen. But you can now see that all 24 of those ports are administratively down. We could start out with our configuration like that, and then as we need ports, we can just go into the individual ports and do a no shutdown to administratively bring those ports back up. That can help prevent someone from plugging in to an unused port and launching a man-in-the-middle attack.